Hey guys, it's Arun from APB TV, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make an epic flat style intro in Final Cut Pro 10. Let's do it. Okay guys, welcome to the tutorial, so let's get straight into it. You can see I'm here in Final Cut Pro, and the amazing thing about this intro is you don't actually need any external assets, so everything we're going to be doing is already in Final Cut Pro, except for the music, we need some of the music. And so I've just imported the intro and this is what it looks like. Alright, so I'm going to teach you guys how to make that intro in just a second, so what we're going to do is we're just going to delete all of this footage. And this is the intro itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to just delete everything here and start from scratch. Boom. All right, so get started. What we're going to do is there's this little tab on the side here. Just going to click in that and open it up and drag in a custom plane. It's going to ask what resolution we want, 1920 by 1080. Good resolution. And so we're just going to reduce the length of that to around six seconds. Boom. And now we're going to go under color up here. And if this page isn't open, you can always open that by pressing these little uh, sliders. And we're going to change change the color to a nice orangey color. Just like that one there. Yeah. Alright, so that's looking already very nice. I don't like that color actually. I want a little bit more orangey. Yeah, perfect. And so now we're going to add in another plane, and this one we're going to go ahead and do it straight from the start as well. And we're going to click on it and change this plane to full white. And now over here we can press this and click transform. If it's set on crop, it'll be like that. So you'll just need to hit this drop down arrow and press transform. And now we can change the size of this. And I'm just going to press something, just something like that. Yeah, put it back in the middle. So under text, I'm going to go ahead and add a basic title. Looks like we already added one. A basic title. And make that again, same length. And I'm just going to type in APB TV. But you can type in your name, obviously, unless you want to advertise my channel. And I'm going to change this to the jungle font. And you can't see it because it's completely white right now. So we're going to change this inspector to a color board by pressing that drop down and changing to color board. And we're going to make this nice and dark, just around minus 73%. Go back out of here and make the size of this bigger. Perfect. So that looks already pretty nice, but I don't like the size of this. Now you can adjust this to be exactly how your name is because everyone's name is different and you can use any font you want as well. So right now we just have this and then the name pops in. Not very interesting. So what we're going to do is we're going to make that nice animation. And we're going to do that by scrolling in around till around the one and a half second mark. So around that far in, you can see two seconds over here. And we're going to click just in here, drop down from here and hit distort and press keyframe. And now go all the way to the start and let's distort it. Just make it look nice and crazy. Just bring those in like that. Not too crazy, but the more crazy, the more interesting the animation will be. That looks good. And I'm going to hit done. And now if I play it, you can see the animation we just created. Pretty slick. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add in a shadow. So we do this by going again and dragging in a custom plane. We're going to squeeze this in between the orange layer and the white layer. Very important to do this, otherwise your shadow will be sticking on top of everything and it'll look very ugly. So, now everything's gone black. So what we're going to do is go ahead and click on this new layer we just added in and leave the color the way it is. Change this to transform and bring this a little bit smaller. And go to the start of this whole clip and we're going to hit distort. I'm going to hit a keyframe and bring in these pieces just like that. Oh, it's not happy with me right now. Alright, 
That should settle it down a little bit. So you can see we've just added a bit of a shadow kind of thing. And so now we just need to see which corners are the ones we attach it to. We're going to do this by zooming in 150% and using our arrow keys just to scrub through a little bit. Sweet. So now I know which corners to use. So I'm just going to bring it in. One there and one just up here. Nice. So that's already good enough just like that. And what I'm going to do is under video, I'm going to drop the opacity just down a little bit. And so now we have a shadow. And we're going to need to animate this, obviously. So using our arrow keys, we can move through a couple of frames. And then reposition these just like that. Just every couple of frames. Now this is stuck in the middle, so I'll just leave it for now. Oh. and it's kind of like magnetized to the center of the screen but oh well I'm just moving two frames if you want it to be more precise go every frame but just because this is a tutorial and I want to be a bit quick about it I'm going to go every two frames now, apologies for the sound my computer is like a fan right now it's 38 degrees celsius outside I have no idea how many degrees that is Fahrenheit but it's got to be pretty hot outside right now. So every computer is literally struggling to stay alive right now. Crazy, crazy hot. All right, so it's almost finished animating. I'm gonna go down to 100% because now the animation's getting a bit big. And keep animating it in. And nice. Alright, so that looks very good, and if I go back to fit, you can see the animation we just created. It looks good, but it kind of looks really awkward. So what we're going to do now is change the scale of these, um, of the drop shadow, because currently it doesn't match very well. So go to the start and make this look like it's a shadow. Bring that in a little bit. And now... Ooh, so it looks like at the front, f at the first frame, it's actually set to something different. So I didn't actually go to the start to do it, so I'm gonna have to fix this up right now, real quick, by just bringing these guys back in, just like that. So now if I scroll through the frames, it looks much better. All right, and so now I'm gonna go back down to fit, and scroll all the way to the end of this animation, right when it stops moving, and make this look just as big as it did before. Nice. And so now if I play it, you can see it looks much more realistic. So I'm gonna hit done, because I like how that looks. Now I was pretty lucky guys, sometimes it leaves a bleeding all around here. So all around here it'll have black, because for some reason the distort doesn't work very well. And if that happens, what you need to do is go ahead and make mask all the way around it by clicking on the effects panel, going under masks and hitting draw mask and then just creating a bunch of little dots and cut out all the bits you don't want and then hit invert mask. Mine didn't do that but if yours does let me know in the comment section below and I'll help you out with that as well. So pressing play you can see it works just like that and then the text pops in a bit too late for me so I'm going to make it a bit quicker now. Very nice. And now we're almost finished. All we need to do is add in some green screen. And we're going to do this by grabbing some more planes. Just one actually, so that we keep the green screen exactly the same. And what we're going to do is go on the generator, make this a nice greenish color, and split that around here and drag it across the other side as well. Not too long, three seconds should be about enough. And now, all we need to do is create a nice little effect where it fades off. So I'm going to do that by going up here and splitting that off just right here. Changing the color of this one to a nice orangey color. Again, just like that. And changing the scale of the whole thing to around 25%. Clicking on it and transform make this nice and big. This is important so that it doesn't 
so that you don't see the corners of it because that that doesn't look very nice and now it'll swipe off as it swipes off it'll be revealed with green so we're gonna go right to the first frame and hit keyframe and then scroll through where it becomes green now bring that all the way across like that and hit done so now you have this now it's good but it's not perfect so we're just gonna tune it a little bit so the, the white manages to stay a little bit so I'm just gonna reduce the length of that not bad so now if I press play you can see that's what it looks like it looks very very good and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another one just to the start this wasn't in the original intro that I showed you just up here but I'm gonna do it just because I can and because I think it'll look a little bit nicer to have that coming in sorry if I just hit I'm just gonna hit a yellowy color here and again same thing make this nice and big change the rotation I'm gonna change it to this way bring it out here and then move back a couple of frames hit keyframe move forward a couple of frames until that comes and drag it straight all the way across hit done and now this is what we have Ooh, close 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 nice so hmm maybe a little bit more so that comes in oh no a little bit further I think just one frame to the side it's very um, a lot of little tuning and stuff so you can see that works very well boom and so now we're basically finished all we need to do is add some music and so I have this track by no copyright music it's called Bay Breeze I just got it straight from YouTube and I'm gonna go detach audio delete that all and now you can see it hits a bit here and I like that beat so I'm gonna reduce the length until that beat is just a start very nice and so now I'm gonna right click onto that and hit a minus three B curve so that when I drag this in it creates a nice fade in just like that and then split that off just at the end of the green here and do the exact same thing again minus three B curve and drag that in and here's our final intro so it's a nice little clean intro guys it's nothing fabulous it's nothing too amazing not 3d but i really do like the flat style intros and that shadow really does make it come together very nicely anyway guys let me know what you think in the comment section below and as always i'll catch you all in the next one